Well, since last October, News 6 has shown you the dangers of texting and driving, particularly in our state, pushing for change to strengthen our state laws. Well, tonight, a showdown of sorts, police versus politicians. We went to Tallahassee and confronted some of our political leaders to ask them about the law. Then we asked two of Central Florida's top cops what they thought about texting and driving in our state. Sheriff Mike Chitwood of Volusia County. Distracted driving is just, uh, it, it's costing people their lives, it's costing people their, their uh, quality of life. And Sheriff Jerry Demings of Orange County. We've got to do something to make our roads more safer for everyone. Each has a strong opinion about Florida's texting and driving law. It's almost impossible to enforce as a secondary uh, enforcement act. Especially the part that mandates police can only pull over a driver for texting after witnessing another infraction. I believe that we would have a benefit if it became a primary uh, uh, offense. Simply put, they don't like it. Government needs to pass laws that keep their citizenry safe. Aside from wanting the law changed from secondary to primary enforcement, Chitwood has another gripe, not being able to access a driver's phone to see if texting could have played a role in a crash. It takes an act of Congress to, in a fatal accident, to get a search warrant, to go back to check the cell phone to see if at the time of the accident, texting was going on, it distracted the driver and played into this. Representative Richard Stark of Broward County shed some light on why law enforcement has such little power to search a driver's cell phone. One of the Miami um, legislators put something in the bill and what did it say? It says that police cannot take a look at your driving records unless there's death or they defined how bad an injury would be. That's your texting records uh, of your phone. Right. The two men who have a combined 65 years of law enforcement experience between them also don't buy one specific excuse some politicians put forth to limit enforcement of texting while driving. The fear that primary enforcement will be abused as a catch-all and give police another excuse to pull over minorities. I think right now, the way it's structured, until it's structured in a manner that can eliminate some of the abuse, I couldn't support it being a primary offense. I don't stop someone based upon what color of their skin. Uh, and most law enforcement officers don't stop people based on the color of their skin. They stop people based on the violation of law that they observe. The ultimate goal here is to keep the motoring public and the pedestrian public as safe as humanly possible. And if there is a device out there, such as cell phones, that's contributing to severe injuries and death, why aren't we doing something to cut it off? And we need the law and the tools to do that. So the takeaway from all this, every single law enforcement officer I have spoken to says we need to have primary enforcement for police to effectively enforce these laws. Currently, we have three texting bills presented this legislative session in Tallahassee. None of them, however, have been debated in committee yet. <laughs>